Okay, here we are. Um, start streaming. Okay. Yeah, it's paused. Mm. Okay, it seems we are online. Are there anybody in the chat? Okay, let's wait for five minutes and then I'll start the stream. Mm. Okay, seems we are online. Are there anybody in the chat? Okay, let's wait for five minutes and then I'll start the stream. Well, well, okay, there are five people watching now, and I think I think we may start. Okay, so let me introduce myself quickly, and then we will continue coding. My name is Ivan Grushaev, and I am a web developer from Russia, Ronish. And what I've got for you today is a live closure streaming session. Uh, I'm going to solve a couple of issues for my open source library named Itawin. There are 25 issues and I'm going to solve just a couple of them. So let's start. This library is a pure closure implementation of uh, WebDriver protocol. WebDriver protocol it's about how to automate browsers. For example you write some code and when you execute it it starts a new browser instance and it tries to implement all the comments you send to it. Uh, but if, but if, uh, sorry, by the way, it's the first time when I'm streaming in English, so uh, please be polite and share your feedback and comments on YouTube channel. Uh, first of all, let's start from scratch. Here is my Emacs window. I started it just recently before the stream and I haven't performed any any comments for it so we will do everything from scratch and here is my terminal window first of all I'm going to uh, switch to my project folder mm. where is it ah it's in CRC folder uh, quickly check for git changes for everything from the server. Uh, ah, it asks for password. Okay, so let's create a new branch for our changes. Uh, what it should be. Okay, let's check for issues. Mm. Ah, I see. This is the first one I want to solve. It's pretty simple. Uh, so let's start with that one just for a warm up. Mm, it's about adding additional scrolling functions. Uh, scroll up, left, down, and so on. Its number is 72. So let's start. Uh, 72. Scroll 
scroll handles right um, okay now let's switch to emacs and let's open our project and here is it and let's start a new REPL session I've got a make file for that uh, here is it sorry ah. uh, make file so this make file handles some duties for example it starts REPL session it runs tests it helps me to deploy my library to close jars and some additional functions related to npm so let's start REPL it should start quickly Well, not so quickly as I expected. Okay, here we are. And then I'm calling for sudo connect. Connect to localhost and web driver. Okay, here we are. Let's go to CRC Italian API module. And then I'm going to load all the module into REPL session, pressing, uh, I can't remember this combination, but my fingers remember uh, about control C control K as far as I remember okay loading and okay here we are uh, okay here so we are in REPL session here is the result now let's change the active namespace and you see now we are inside Italian API namespace. It's the primary namespace that keeps all the API for the driver protocol. Okay, first of all let me demonstrate how does it work. For example, I'm, go I'm going to create a new driver instance, a new Chrome instance named driver. Okay, here we are. You can see that a new window appears and I may command with this window. For example, let it open HTTP HTTPS This, ah, sorry Sorry, sorry, it should be the first argument should be the driver instance. Okay, here we are. And then uh, we may go back. Ah, for example, we can reload the page. Uh, not reload, but refresh. Refresh. Hmm. Something goes wrong. Let me quickly examine. Ah, sure. It doesn't take any URLs. And also, we, we may uh, scroll down. Scroll to scroll to bottom. View and scroll to back scroll to top, sorry. So it works and now let me quick let me quit a driver session. It will automatically close the session and uh, kills the driver process process. So it works. Okay so uh, let's switch to scroll down to scroll block you know there are lots of APIs and all of them separated by um, logical separators for example this block is for scrolling utilities you see 
there are scroll this, scroll that, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to add a couple of, couple of more functions. Uh, this will be scroll up. right scroll down and scroll left all these function functions should accept the driver instance and a number of pixels to scroll in the following direction mm. let's name it offset Okay. Okay, so I've got uh, some common functions for scrolling, mm -hmm. and I'm going to reuse them. For example, uh, scroll. Ah, there is a there's a common common function scroll the scroll the window into absolute position and scroll by relatively relatively to the current position okay uh, let's use scroll by so <clears throat> let's start with scrolling down scroll down is <clears throat> scrolling by uh, specifying driver and the first one is x offset and the second one is y offset so x will be offset and y will be zero okay let's try it uh, what happened offset ah, close okay i reloaded the namespace um, let's try it again so I'm going to create new Chrome instance again go to closure page sorry and then let's try scroll down and I'm going to scroll down by 100 pixels. Hmm. Nothing works. Okay, let's investigate what happened. Arcs. 100. Ah, of course. Uh, scrolling by X should be 0. And scrolling by Y should be set okay let's reload the function again and try it again you see it works okay so let's implement a version of scrolling scrolling up mm. so I'm going to swap the arguments ah no there should be minus offset if I'm going to scroll up so in that case there should be negative value of offset sure reload the namespace and then I'm going to scroll up okay it works okay so then let's start is scroll left and right let's group scroll up and scroll down together and scroll left and scroll right also together so, uh, you know you must keys are terrible okay scroll left and scroll right let's implement them should be almost the same uh, it should be offset 
and zero and for scroll right it should be minus I said with zero by y okay let's try so let's uh, decrease the size of a page and check can we scroll oh, oh we cannot scroll because it ah, its layout doesn't allow us to scroll okay so we need to open another page what can we open maybe API or community maybe news I don't know mm. okay let's maybe should we go there or maybe close a script page all right great now this page supports uh, horizontal scrolling great so let's return to our emacs <coughs> first of all let's let's try to scroll up and down again scroll down mm -hmm. Hmm, doesn't work. It's not a problem. Okay, so let's quit our driver session and start it again. I'm going to paste a new URL. <coughs> so let's scroll down again box scroll up it also works then let me shrink shrink the page it also works and then let's scroll scroll left great and let Oh, sorry and let's scroll right oh great so the major part of the task is done so uh, let's write a couple of doctrines for that and what else mm, what else well it would be great if we can scroll without specifying offset in pixels for example, let's comment that, that function and create a new one that may take either two or only one parameters. So that function will have two bodies. First one with offset and the second body with only one argument uh, if we don't have offset uh, so yeah, we are going to take some kind of default scroll down driver and there there should be some kind of default value but um, it's not good practice to hard code these values so Let's declare a default zoom offset. Uh, sorry, not zoom, but scroll. Mm, scroll offset. That should be equal 100 pixels. And let's. Mm, Let's declare doc string for that. So <clears throat> so and if we didn't specify offset, we are going to take the default one. Okay, so it works. Uh, let's check it. 
for example, let scroll offset will be, will equal, I don't know, 200. Uh, let's try. Let's scroll down without specifying specifying offset. Great, it works. Look, okay. Uh, so let's add to all the scroll functions. I mean, these four functions additional body when it supports only Java parameter. Mm. So this one. And second one. Hmm. Ah, that's all right. Scroll it. Travel. Oh, not offset, but scroll. Offset. Okay, scroll right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I let me move that window. Oh. Okay, let it be there. Mm. Okay, this one. Scroll by. And this function, this body, should take on the driver. Call in. Scroll right. The driver and scroll set. Okay, scroll right. Scroll left, down, and the rest is scroll up. Okay, it should be the same. It takes driver and calls for scrolling up, passing driver and default. Ah, sorry, offset. Okay, let's check it quickly. Mm, scroll down. Works. Up. Also works. Scrolling left. Works. And scrolling <coughs> right also works. Uh, okay, let's set it to 100 and let's add the doc string. Okay, so now let's add doc string there. Mm. Scrolls Scroll the page up. Pixels. So we should say that a user may emit a number of pixels. Mm. 
By the way, let's spell, let's check our spelling. Pixels, sure. Mm, where is it? Pixels number nine. Okay, scroll down, page down. Specific number of pixels. Now left and right. Okay, so let's commit our changes. I'm going to call for my git status. Yes. <coughs> let's examine our changes. Uh, what did we add? <coughs> the constant and four functions for scrolling in all the directions. Well, it looks good. Let's add, it, add these changes. Mm -hmm. So it's initial number and <coughs> It. Let's push it on GitHub. <coughs> All right, and then <coughs> let's uh, bump our project version and deploy a new Quadras library. So first of all, let's go to our project. Mm. Let it be a new snapshot version. Snapshot uh, then let's go to releases. Mm, ah not release but change log and add a new entry saying that in this version, we added all right down. See the changes. Okay, seventy two. Uh, so it's version bump with change log plus. Let's push it. Okay, so let's go to let's switch on GitHub page. And let's create a pull request and match our changes. Well, looks well. Oh, sorry, no. Let's go there and merge. Let's delete our branch and switch to issues. Sorry, my my max fell down. Um, <clears throat> it will take some extra time to start it up. Don't know why, but suddenly it takes about half a minute to start because it tries to call for some server maybe. Let's 
Pokémon. Okay, let me. While waiting for a max, let me kill Chrome driver process. Driver. Okay, let's kill it. Okay, no more Chrome drivers in memory. Okay, so let's start start from scratch. I'm going to open my <coughs> my pro sorry my API module module. I'm going to connect to REPL session load all the code inside it and switch our REPL namespace okay mm, okay then what should we do next ah first of all we need to Let's switch to master and let pull our changes from the server. And then let's update readme file scrolling scrolling sections. Scroll bottom. Scroll top. Okay, let's provide some examples. Uh, for example, scroll down, driver, uh, for example, Okay, and the same for all the functions. And scroll right finally finally. Ok, 
Okay, so let's update our readme file. So <clears throat> let's check our spelling. Let's push our changes and then let's update our documentation. Mm. Ah, as far as I remember, there is a special shell file autodoc that automatically builds new HTML documentation and pushes it in a special branch that keeps only HTML documentation for the library and we may review review that documentation on this page as far as I remember hmm. ah here we are so let's check it it says everything all right mm, let's check Uh, detailed documentation and let's search for scroll functions scroll 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 hmm. okay let's see it should disable cache hmm. no why but I cannot see my Scrolling function, but I can't understand why. Hmm. That's really strange. <coughs> Maybe let's check out to the page. Oh, sorry, to the uh, branch. Hmm. Okay, let's check it via GitHub. Okay, let's close that issue and then let's examine our branch in GitHub. Oh, that's strange. It says it has been updated a month ago. Hmm. Why? Can understand why? 
and the check out master okay let's examine our our autodoc file okay so it changes the the folder adds everything Okay, let's start again. Okay, it says everything all right. So this Autodoc folder carries a set of HTML files that has have been produced by Autodoc utility. So let's check status uh, and check git log. Hmm. Readme updated, merge pull requests. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. Let's check it on GitHub. Okay, so I don't know what the issue there. I don't understand why it doesn't show the new documentation here on this website but okay i will find out a bit later let's continue with solving our technical issues okay let's check to check out to master go to issues and <clears throat> and as far as, as far as i remember those a special issue quite interesting one about iframes here it is. Now, it's an issue about dealing with frames in the near future. Okay, let's start with it. Let's cd to here, to master. Let's check the status. We pull everything and then check out and check out minus B seventy one. Okay, so let's add iframe support in our library. So first of all, let's think on how should it work. The main problem here is you, uh, using WebDriver protocol, you cannot click you cannot interact with some content put in frame or iframe so there should be some kind of api to switch into some frame or iframe and operate operate on it and then go out to the main page mm -hmm. okay first of all let's check for mm -hmm. for the for the web driver standard I mean I wonder what does it say um, uh, okay here is it let's search for i i frame
Okay, what is it? Uh, okay, switch to, uh -huh, switch to frame. Okay, let's go to, okay, let's do it in another way. Uh, as far as I remember, there should be a special point titled um, list of endpoints. List of endpoints. Um, switch to frame. Okay, so uh, switch to window. We've got it. Get window handles and switch to frame, switch to parent frame. Okay, so what we need to do is to implement this, uh, those APIs and then to check them in the REPL session. Okay, let's go to switch to frame. Okay. Hello, and here's a prompt and return its value. Let ID be the result of getting a property named ID from the parameters argument. Okay, so it should take ID parameter and dark ID is now the current top level browser content. Okay, so if ID is now, uh, the browser should return to the top level. ID is a number object. If ID less than zero, okay, it should be uh, from zero to to this huge value. Let window be, okay. Let window be less than one. If ID is not a support property index, okay. Okay, so ID represents a web element. Try trying to get an own element by element reference ID. Let's open it in another window. And to stale, okay. It's not a frame of a frame. Well, the current browser contacts return error. Okay. Should be UID. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see it could be a reference to a web element. So, so it says that it might be either a number, a number or a reference to a web element. All right. Okay, and so let's open some kind of page with a frame. Let's open a frame example. Try it yourself. And okay, let's inspect it. What have you here? As far as I remember this. Let's close this window. This is uh -huh. this is iframe. Okay, this is div. This is iframe with the document, and this document uh, has another iframe. Oh, that's really great. Okay, let's continue with that. <clears throat> okay, this is a okay. This is a great page. Okay, so let's. Copy it. Ah, sorry, sorry. Okay, and let's start our REPL session again. Let's have it here. Uh, let's divide our emacs and let's switch to REPL session. 
So. Chrome. Then let's let's go to uh, this page. Great. Let's check it. Ah, this page is dead. Let's quit. Uh, close it. This one. Okay, it works. And what else? Mm. So now we need to implement some kind of API for that. And let's create a new section. iframes. And let's define a function. Switch frame, switch frame that takes the driver instance and and index index that represents um, an index or a number of five frame on that page or maybe just frame. And what should we do there? <laughs> okay, let's copy paste that function. Mm, let's open the standard page. Mm. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I lost it. Okay, ah, uh, it should. Uh, get window handles and then switch to frame. Ah, it should be post this session ID frame post. It should be post. Okay, so post session session and the, there should be frame deleted and this and there should be data mm, ID index mm. result okay let's see that be just result result Uh, first of all, let's switch to REPL and let me check if I can click on something that's inside an iframe. Mm. Where is it? Ah, it should be there. iframe ID iframe result. document for example I want to click on on some element on that element for example mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to find an element. Find um, class this mm. 
Find maybe find element. Mm. Let's check our find, ah, find element here. Yeah. Find element term. Mm. Ah, query, query, this should be query. Query. No such element, okay. So, yes, so I was right. I cannot click on something that's not inside our global page but inside an iframe. That's fine. And let's examine this iframe. Switch frame driver, and I'm going to switch on the first iframe. Oh, great! So, first of all, I do not want to return any value, so I'm going to put underscore for variable that will bound to the result value returned from low level API so let's try it again all right what if I switch to the first one okay no such frame great so it works and what if I mm, if I want to switch to the top to the top page so I'm going to pass new as far as I remember and now I am inside the global page uh, for example, I'd like to find this button. <clears throat> I need try home. Uh, let's try to find this element. Mm. Specifying its ID. It works. Great. And if I switch to iframe, let me try to let me try to query this item again. Great, it doesn't work. Uh, query driver. Ah, I need to go to to the global page and here. We are. Okay, great. So switch frame. Uh, let's add a one another function. Uh, by the way, let's add fake to do, not to do, but doc string. Just to, to not forget it. Mm -hmm. So switch, switch to top. Switch to top means to switch to the top of the page, and this function should take only one parameter driver and it should reuse this function switch to frame switch frame passing nil as a second argument okay <clears throat> now then let's add the third function as far as uh, as you see this function may switch um, 
switch to any frame by its index but uh, usually we don't know its index the, there might be lots of iframes on our page so it would be better to switch any to any frame by querying it for example specifying its ID or its name or some other arguments so let it be a temporary function switch frame and let's create a new one ah, by the way uh, let's switch to to this page and check switch to frame and switch to parent frame mm -hmm. switch to parent frame to go up to go one level up Oh, great. Now let's check it. How does it work? <coughs> okay, let's give this function uh, switch frame, switch top, switch to top, and let's have uh, another function called switch parent, switch parent frame. Switch, uh, and there should be switch top frame. Switch top frame, okay. Let it be switch frame, switch parent frame, and switch top frame. Okay, switching parent frame should be, it should take no arguments except uh, driver and there should be session session ID frame parent frame parent and what should we pass I wonder and no data should be sent mm, there should be new okay let's what Ah, I see. Let's remove it. And let's check. First of all, let's switch to to frame number zero. Dwarfs. Then let's switch to parent frame. Okay, it also works. Mm. Let's okay. Let's switch to frame number zero. So we are in in the first nested frame, and then let's go to the second one. And if we go once again, there will be an error. That's all right. And then let's go to parent frame. We are on the first level. Let's query for that button. There should be an error because we are st we're still not on the top page. And let's let's go to the parent once again. And now it should be all right. Great, it works fine. Okay, so this function work works, and this one and this one. Okay. And um, now then, let's implement uh, switching by query an element. Switch frame, switch frame query. So this function should take um, a driver instance and a query term. Query term. And First of all, it should query. Okay, mm, let's find a special function for that. Mm. 
I don't remember how it's named. <laughs> let's go there. Ah, I see, and let's search for this expression. Ah, element to GS. Great. But it's it's wrong. It's it should be named not element to GS but element to to reference maybe. Yeah. Element to GS. Uh, let's replace replace it element to JS element to to ref to reference and it should be should be arrow great okay so element let's copy this uh, this snippet and then let's go to mm, to our iframe section mm, switch frame query so let element be querying driver with this, with this uh, query term and ref should be turning an element into a reference and now let's implement switching frame uh, specifying a reference mm. and so so this uh, this argument should be named not as index or maybe index or reference or maybe just ID let's delete it ID <laughs> index ID okay ref okay let's keep it this way switch frame query Okay, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Let's go there and try to find this iframe. Where is it? Here is it. Iframe ID frame result. Great. Now let's try to switch. Mm. Let's try to switch to the type frame specifying its ID. Yeah. Uh, switch frame query mm -hmm. driver with its ID. Okay, let's check. What have we here? What did we send there? So the body was uh, ID key. And this element is uh, is a reference. Okay. <clears throat> Switch to parent frame. nothing happens again and then let's try to switch to another iframe here is it switch to iframe okay let's let's copy it its URL and then try to switch to that do it again oh great it 
works. There should be an error because there is no another one nested frame. And then we need to switch, switch to parent frame and switch to parent. Great. It works. Okay, so let's commit our draft changes to prevent them from losing. From losing. Mm. Let me go to uh, git section. Okay, let's ex examine our changes. This is our main renaming issue. This is also renaming issue. This and that are frames. Switch frame, switch frame query. Okay, let's commit it. Uh, number 17, 71 and let's push uh, well are there anybody on the stream now? let me check quickly alright Oh, you are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, what else? <clears throat> okay, now then, let's go to our API module and develop final version of our functions. You know, the draft version worked fine. And all we need to do is to implement nice clear APIs. And one special feature I'd like to have is um, some kind of co context manager for switching iframes. I think everybody who used to program on Python programmed language um, used to use them a lot when, for example, you're writing something like that. This open blah 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 as my file and some code go there and this not as file but as f and this uh, f variable acceptable everywhere inside this code block and I'm going to have another something like that for example if somebody mm -hmm. writes with this frame this frame driver and for example my my frame this is id and then perform any some kind of block code inside this frame it would be great and once mm, once closure exits this block you know we return to to the previous to the previous frame yeah it would be great mm, okay let's command command this form and first of all switch to frame it should be internal function marked with uh, star mm, according according to my my code styles Function started with functions that are uh, that have um, star in their names. They are not to use in high-level APIs. They are internal ones. But I think we also might use um, this kind of syntax. But okay, let's keep the previous one. Switch to frame. Switch frame. <clears throat> just to switch just to a frame by its index or an element reference.
Oh, an element reference. Okay. Let's give it a switch switch frame. Let let this function be just switch frame. <coughs> Copy and paste switches to a frame uh, to be to an i to an iframe to an, to a frame or to an iframe frame by by querying Where in it Wait. switches to an iframe, querying the page for it. Okay, and switch frame, let me switch frame parent, switch frame parent, and switch frame top. So this switch frame, it should go Journal one mark the star switch frame <coughs> mm. and also let's have switch frame first switches to an iframe to 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 the first to the first iframe so switching frame driver and passing zero switch frame parent switch frame top also works okay let's check our changes mm, go to repo switch frame top hmm. what happens top ah I see switch frame star okay switch frame first First, uh, now it should work. Okay, and the next one should fail. Yeah, great. Let's frame parent. Parent. Okay. <clears throat> also, first, first error. Then frame. Okay, works. Uh, the frame switches to the most top of the page. Switches to the most top of the page. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. So this one switches to the most top of the page frame top and this one switches to the parent and this one switches to the parent of the current iframe all right and now that now then let's implement this context manager mm, it should be a macro of course let's comment it ah first first of all 
Let's delete it. Uh, let's let's commit everything we've got. Number seventy one. Okay, let's push our changes and then let's switch to API. So I'm going to implement um, a macro for switching our frame dynamically, not dynamically but temporary. Temporary for implementing some block of code, switching to the parent frame by exiting this uh, context manager. Okay, it should be a micro. Uh, and this, this frame. And it should take Uh, wait a second. Okay, so the macro, it should take a driver, mm, a query, and the body, the body to execute. And first of all, it should. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, let's start with turning a new list. Mm, it should first of all you know it should switch to switch to a frame switch frame should be do. And switch to frame driver uh, executing driver and executing uh, queue then <clears throat> it should it should execute all the body all the body and then it should switch to the parent frame switch to the parent frame mm, passing driver oh, sorry okay 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 let's check check its evaluation first of all mm, for example I'm going to check what will be the final form of that function. I'm going to pass quoted expression this frame driver mm, I don't know my my frame and I'm going what I'm going to do mm, for example click on some button Add a couple of numbers and print test. Okay, let's check. It should be what have we here. First of all, we switch to we are switching to a frame, passing driver and. <laughs> And this ID, then we click okay it seems it truly really works let's check <clears throat> let's inspect the page
I want to find some kind of button or maybe some kind of an element that I may click or for example this one clicking on this glow okay let's examine it mm -hmm. frame result okay for example this frame driver frame result okay so what we are going to do is <laughs> body there is nothing here so hmm. okay it works for example let me check by pressing stop level button it works um, what I'm going to do is to write nested example of uh, of this expression for example with i frame I drive with i frame and i'm going to go deeper <laughs> mm, like dicaprio so for, uh, with a frame driver mm, how should i reference the first i frame <laughs> Let's check the layout. My frame, my frame, my frame, my frame. Uh -huh. The first one, my frame. Mm -hmm. Tag, my frame. And here I'm going to, you know, here I'm going to click. Mm, driver and there should be some kind of button maybe with the globe mm, with with w3 bar item oh, well. <clears throat> how to reference it Uh, maybe by title okay here title equals to translate w3 schools okay let's let, let's check this snippet okay let's Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Wow, it really works. Something amazing. Some kind of magic. You see, first we are going to the first iframe, then we are going to the second one and clicking a button, not a button, yeah. Clicking a link that's located in the most nested iframe, then uh, we go up to this frame, and finally we are going to the initial one to the top level of the page. And it really works, it's something amazing. Okay, so let's keep this example for readme file. Mm. 
So I'm going to put it into scratch buffer. Okay, so let's let's write a documentation here. Mm -hmm. This frame. The I frame uh, temporary while the body body um, switch switches to the I frame temporary while executing in the body. Ah, by the way, mm, there is a mistake here. I think I should return the body result, right? The body turning its result to the body, body returning turn, turning the result. For the last expression, for the last expression. So, what I'm going to fix there is to to track the body result. So I should create a new temporary variable result that should hold the result of the body, then I should execute in switching to the parent frame and only after it I should return the result. Okay, let's check its behavior. Mm. Rebel. Does it work? Yes, it does. Uh, no, something went wrong. Ah, yeah. Okay, let's let's try again. Okay. Um, by the way, I'd like to see its its macro expansion version. <laughs> okay. Looks sensible. Click and by the way, I like to have a number as a result. Okay, so it really returns 42, and it's amazing. Mm. Uh, okay, let's check for spelling. Okay. Let's commit our changes. Mm. Mm. Iframes. Let's push them. And I'm going to write some documentation for that. Scrolling and then after scrolling, let's add let's add a new section named frames and i and i frames, and there should be some kind of examples. First of all. So this should be long, 
some kind of documentation for that. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, cannot imagine what I should write there. Okay, let's leave it for now. It's not so important. It is not so important. Mm, let's leave it there. Um, so what I'm going to do soon is to update <coughs> to to release uh, to release our new version of our the new version of our library mm. let's go to our project ah well the main feature I'm going to to perform now is to release not a snapshot but a new a new version of our project let's switch to the project file no it's not it project and it should be not snapshot but uh, 022 mm, let's open change log open change log and create new section for that frames and, and i frames spot frames and i frames spot Okay, so let's commit it. Okay, so now let's review our changes. Mm. Compare and pull. Let's create our changes. Uh, create a pull request because sometimes you know you, you cannot see um, what did you really change and sometimes you cannot see some mistakes in your editor just uh, on github page i don't know how does it work but still sometimes i cannot see some mistakes in my emacs but i see them on github page so i think it's a good practice to to review your own changes on GitHub. So new version. This function was renamed. Uh, what else? Here is a new iframe section. Switch frame. <coughs> Switch <coughs> frame first. <coughs> and uh, what else? Switch frame parent and switch frame top. Okay, mm, let's merge it. And delete the branch. Okay, let's return to our editor. Okay, 
we didn't draw changes in our readme file no i'm going to fill it later because it takes significant time to write sensible text with examples so let's do not spend time on that let's check out to the master uh, pull our changes All right and now i'm going to put a tag and get tag tag name is 022 on master okay and push push tags mm -hmm. push tags all the tags let's check do we really have this have this tag mm, tags oh yeah zero two two and let's push those changes in Cloudjar. jar oh, so make make deploy so this this one um, will deploy our library into Cloudjar. So my username is Ingrishaev and let's let me open my one password. And copy paste my password from there. And waiting for deployment process. Okay, let's go to Cloud Jazz. And Monkey Bot Italian. Uh, time okay so the last version is 0 to 2 so it works and let's close the issue related to iframes frames mm. and let's close it with the message and close it so now we've got only 24 mm, issues and I think You've got a good job today so i think for now uh, let's stop it let's stop our stream and so <laughs> it was the first time when i when i was streaming in english so you are welcome to to leave your feedback maybe on my email or in my twitter you know or even in the commentary section on youtube so thank you for watching i hope this video will help somebody and have a nice day. Bye.